Virgo, say my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Sing it with me one time. Sing Virgo, say my loves. Hey, my loves. What's going on, my family, my soul tribe, my love, love, loveies? I had to sing our little song for you. Did you sing along? Did you sing with me? Okay. What's going on? Shout out to all my members, my A1 Day 1s and my subscribers. How you doing? To all my new family members and subscribers. Hey, y'all. Hey. Welcome to the tribe. Let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to do a quick read, doing your overall energy and see what's going on for you. Let's see what else we need to tell you. What, um, let's see what obstacles we can knock out of the way, okay? I'm going to touch and agree with you on some things and give you some divine messages from spirit. So let's see what's popping. What is going on in Virgo land? Hmm. All right. This is for Virgo placements, all Virgo placements. Some on rising Venus and North Node. All right, let's go ahead and get started. If you want your prayer babies, it's on the video that I posted previously, okay? But well, let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, thanks for bringing me here as a divine light, a vessel of love and light and positive energy for the Virgos and all who are drawn to my energy and your divine messages. Show me clear messages. What do you want the divine to know today? My star seeds, my king and queen of coins. What do they need to know today, Spirit? Let's see. What else can we tell the Virgos? Okay. Let's work with this. And then we're going to work it on out. Okay. We're going to start with this Oracle card. Read. This is going to be just what Spirit wants you to know about your energy. And then we'll go ahead and tap in. We're going to see um, how you might be feeling or what may be coming towards you. All right. And then we're going to clarify everything with the Tarot. All right. Let's see what's going on. So we got the Law of Dharma. It says transform your pain into purpose. All right. So I feel like, let, let me read this to y'all because somebody honestly might need this. And I do have the book right here. So let's find out what the law of Dharma is talking about. The law of Dharma. All right. It's 59. So let's see. <clears throat> You know, we quick with it. We quick with it. I got it right here. I got it right here. Okay. Let's see. It says, this law states that each person has a special gift, a unique purpose and message to bring to the world. Each person. All right. So it says, at a spiritual level, your emotional traumas are your greatest blessing because they are the catalyst that bursts your purpose. Furthermore, you have a unique talent that no other individual in the world has. Um, through the intention of merging these two gifts, working for the highest good and out of service, this law unlocks the divine within. The entire cosmos has aligned for you to take on a physical form to fulfill this calling. Wow. It says there's a message and a gift within you that the world thirsts for. You are the only person in the entire universe with this divine purpose. Your divine purpose is your destiny. Wow. You're being called to awaken the oracle within. So you're being called to tap in and not be afraid of your gifts, but yet embrace your gifts. All right. It's saying that your pain is the catalyst for you to move to the next level. And that's amazing. So this is saying awaken the oracle within it says there's a message and a gift within you that the world is ready for you're the only person in the entire cosmos with your particular gift by drawing this card it says your higher self is ready to give your spiritual blessings to the world so even if you feel like you're not ready the divine is calling you saying yes you are ready all right and I know a lot of you may feel like I'm a very spiritual, great, like amazing spiritual guide, but you may have a gift. You do have your own unique gift and you never know, like you can be bigger than what I'm doing. Like, so don't doubt yourself and don't stunt your own growth by being in doubt or not really feeling ready or prolonging the process. Embrace everything that you have to offer this world. Write that book, paint that picture. Will you make that song? 
Go ahead and finish that poem. Do, do, do what you got to do. All right? Spirit is calling you. Okay? Now, now you see why I pop back in. Okay? And use these cards. Let's get into it. It say you may have known what this purpose is for quite some time, but may not have believed yourself worthy of such a grand plan. The universe is conspiring for your greatness. It says you have to get out of your way and commit by putting both feet forward. It says by putting in both feet. So that means you got one foot in and one foot out. All right. But it's so much more that you have to offer the world. And don't doubt yourself. Like sometimes we really can get in that energy of self-doubt feeling like this is not meant for us. Or, or I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. Or you can take me for example. Like I really need to push myself further. It's so many amazing plans and ideas that I have that I do not act on. I do not act on it. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I have to figure out a plan, a way to be able to do everything that's coming to me. And I will, you know, but some of the things like I, the way I see it and I see some other people that have done it and they're amazing. And I'm just like, that is big. Like, am I ready for that much money? Am I ready for this big responsibility? And really, all I have to do is believe in the power that I already possess. All right, for some, for some people, what I'm doing right now seems impossible. But really, all I did was be myself and press play. That's it. So you see how we can doubt ourselves and trick ourselves into believing that we're not ready for something, but we are? Oh, baby, trust and believe. Like, I'm, I'm in the process of revamping and doing different things and, and finishing a couple of the projects that I started that some of you that have been following me forever since we started, you heard me mention it, but you haven't seen it. And it's because I'm putting every single thing before it, but where this is something that is very grand that people probably desire and need is what I need to be doing. So along with you, I take heed to this message and I definitely am going to start getting the ball back rolling on some things that I doubted myself on. It's not even doubting myself. I'm just like, am I really supposed to do this? Because this going to blow up. You know how we have intuition. So we know when we do something, we know how big it can get. And you're like, am I overstepping my boundaries? Am I supposed to do this? No, you're supposed to do it. Push yourself and trick the enemy and show that I'm not going to be in self-doubt. I'm not going to be in lack. I'm going to make sure that I know what I know what I know. And I'm going to walk in it, right? Um, and a lot of you are like, you're doing great right now. You're doing it. Yes, but this is just a small portion of the amazing gifts that I have and everything that God pours into me for you. So I really have to get myself grounded and in a position where I'm doing my Virgo energy, doing what Virgos do, multitasking, doing this, that, this, that. And I'm already in, but I need to add in the things that God want me to do right? That I need to find a way to put out the gifts that he gives me inside for you, the information, right? So like I said, we both, we look, we all taking heed to this message. I am as well. Like we cannot keep counting ourselves out or not realizing how amazing we are. Like, and even though you know, but you need to know and show and prove because I heard this from one of, one of the greats, okay? While you're, while you're stagnant or dragging your feet or doubting yourself, it's somebody out there being great. It's somebody out there trying to take your place. It's somebody out there doing everything that you are supposed to do, right? And so you got to watch somebody else succeed with your dream, your goal, or your plan that you had, but you didn't do it. You feel me? Y'all feel me, okay? If you feel me, baby, put it in the comments. I feel you. Received. You can put received. I feel you. You feel me because that's what it is, right? And Spirit wants you to get out of that energy, make the move, and do what you got to do. Now, I can't wait to see what these cards say. I haven't even read them yet. So let's see what these cards say. The law of attraction. Embody the highest version of yourself. Here's another push. Another push forward, another push toward greatness, another push toward every single thing that you want and you desire, but it's in you. It starts within you. So are you becoming more aware of your gifts, of, of the actions that you need to take? Spirit wants you to get in the driver's seat. Put your big Virgo energy in the driver's seat, all right? And time out for anything else because Spirit wants you to evolve, all right? 
And I feel like it's so many people around you that see this energy on you, right? And they know who you are. But it's like sometimes you forget who you are. You forget who you are. And while you forget who you are, when you get in that energy and the enemy could trick you into forgetting who you are for just one second, that's all it takes. And then boom, somebody think they made it. Somebody think they got... No, 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 no. Okay, let them think whatever they want. But the truth about it is these people know who you are all right and, and 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 this is another reason why people try to sneak in and try to stop you or try to block you or try to confuse you try to distract you or discourage you from you operating at your full potential okay it's dangerous to play with you it's dangerous to speak on your name that's how powerful you are if people speak ill on your name boom they get karma you start seeing their mountains fall. You start seeing things happen. You start seeing it for yourself. That, yeah, be careful what you say about me. Be careful what you send over here. You might think you got away with a little bits and pieces of information, but little do you know, that's my job. That's what I'm here to do. And, and the fact that I'm divine and chosen and protected, oh, you better tread lightly. And this is what you need to tell your enemies. And you don't even have to say it verbally, but just know that, all right? It's dangerous to speak on you or try to play with your energy or try to push you out of the way. Anything that anybody do to try to stop this, you see what spirit is telling you to do. And the divine is behind, backing you. Anybody that try to come in the way of this got a problem because God is your avenger. All right, you got the biggest avenger. God is your avenger. Okay, God is your protector. So if somebody comes in the way of what he orchestrated for you to do, they got a problem. All right, and this ain't small change. All right, this this big issues, big 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 problems. Okay, because we bring in big smoke, and they not ready for that smoke. They not ready for it. Okay, they don't want it. Period. Go ahead, and write it in the comments. I know you want to put it down there. They do not want it. They don't want the smoke. They don't want it. So people are are wondering who you are. Like while you're moving through these cycles and the way that you carry yourself, while you're Stepping in your big Virgo energy, some, some of y'all not even realizing that you're in this energy. People see it and they're backing up. They're taking a step back. They like, whoa, let me just watch. Some people are learning from you and they, they could be your ops. But the truth is they adore you. They adore you. They love everything you stand for. They're just mad because they can't be that. They got their own gifts. They can't do you like you do you. They have to find a way or you find some people just taking a piece out of everybody's book and being a little bit of everybody. And it's just like, baby, how long do you think that's going to work? Okay, eventually you got to look at yourself as ugly as you may feel and look at yourself and deal with it. And this is to your haters or whoever it is trying to stop you or speaking on your name. People learn the hard way. And the law of transcendence, revere the dark side of life is here. And remember the truth of who you are. This is what spirit wants you to do. So it can empower you to move forward and take these steps that you're guided to take. These, op these, these gifts that you have. These um, projects that you have in mind. These things that you want to work on. These things that you're doubting yourself about. Or you let people make you feel like you can't do it. You know, and some of you guys can't stand a mimic. As soon as you see somebody copying or doing what you do or trying to be like you, sound like you, look like you, it pulls you, it makes you pull back your energy and you get annoyed. And But when you get, as soon as you decide to take a negative approach to that type of situation, instead of being flattered and being like, uh-huh, well, good luck with that. Uh -huh, I'm just going to go to the next thing. Because one thing about it, if they're copying off of you, baby, you're the, you're the blueprint. Okay, you're the trendsetter. So they don't know what you're going to do next. They got to wait around for what you're going to do next. And in the meantime, find somebody else to feed off of. So all of this will catch them up. That's karma for them. Always having to work triple time um, the way you have to work, right? To keep up with them trying to be who you are. Things of that nature. You feel what I'm saying? So this is why Spirit says, remember who you are. You're the blueprint. You're the trendsetter. You're him. You're her. Like, walk in your big Virgo energy. Remember that. Stay confident, all right? And not only that, stay the course. It's not time to have a pity party. It's not time to have your head hung low because, baby, that's just showing the universe that I'm, I'm losing this battle. And if God is your avenger and God is for you and he says, no, do this, 
wake yourself up do these gifts learn more about who you are in the spirit realm learn how powerful you are if god is telling you to do this don't you know he's not gonna let no weapon formed against you prosper you gotta walk in that energy period okay period okay so make it happen virgo believe in yourself trust the divine know that you have protection don't let these small little things like i mentioned bother you or distract you from being the very best you can be okay do it all right let's get it for real let's let's do this okay um and let's let's um look into real quick revere the dark side of life i want you to know what this is saying all right because it's talking about the dark side of life i definitely want you to know because it's going to bless somebody for real it's going to bless somebody and i know it is so let me go ahead and find it <laughs> you know i'm quick with it and it's only going to take me a second the law of transcendence here go right here all right let's read it a little bit okay see what spirit is saying all right so universal law of transcendence this law is based on on the fact that all of life is designed for spiritual growth and awakening it says you are constantly demanded to go beyond your limiting beliefs and expand your consciousness through relative experiences exactly what i just told you right the little things that happen that could deter you from doing what you're built to do is saying you're constantly demanded to go beyond your limited beliefs and expand your consciousness through relative experiences rising above all circumstances as you transcend your beliefs going beyond your limited perceptions limited perceptions this is self-doubt limiting self-beliefs thinking that you're not worthy thinking that you can't do it thinking that that's not meant for you but it is and it says once you're be once you're able to move past that and embody the truths of the universe and experience all of your divinity this is what happens and it says by drawing this card it indicates that you are on the right path this message is designed um design is a divine sign that you are following your calling and dreams be still and know that everything is unfolding perfectly everything your heart desires is manifesting now y'all hear that <laughs> everything that your heart desires is manifesting now go ahead and drop your purple hearts and i will touch and agree with you it is a uh, time to live with faith and let go of any doubt the note it says the note is the confirmation you have been asking from the universe is it's time to celebrate oh my god see this is what i'm talking about i might not be on your time y'all but you can't even lie i'll be right on time i'm right on time i'm on my father's time okay i'm on my inner god the divine me my higher self i'm on our time okay and, and it's time right now this is the time when you needed to hear this message let's let's get into it let's see what else you need to know let's see let's see what the blockages might be let's let's switch the deck and check on the blockages let's see if there's anything blocking you or what blockages you need to know about right now the law of power the law of power is going to tell you that you're a powerful divine being set apart and meant to accomplish great great things and you got to believe in that let the divine help lead and guide you to where you got to go all right Take heed from who, whatever angels and whatever assisting guides that are in your life instructing you on what spirit has for you. Take heed to those messages, okay? Use your discernment to know who's who. Protect your energy. Try spirit by spirit, all right? If it don't, if it look like a duck and it quack like a duck but it's dressed like a damn turtle, you know it's a duck. So don't even go that way, okay? Come on now, all right? Okay, period. Let's see. So let's tap in what blockages are here for Virgo. Are there any blockages that Virgo needs to know about? Show me clearly, please. Give Virgo the messages they need to excel. Let's see. Okay, a little bit of self-doubt regarding your abundance. Some people feel like they messed up. And it's never too late to change. It's never too late to evolve. Never too late to transcend acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. This is what spirit wants for you. Accept the things that you cannot change. Believe in yourself. All right. Know that life is full of lessons and all you're going to do is continue to elevate, 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 elevate. It's levels to this ish, right? 
it's levels to it to this sugar honey iced tea it's levels to it okay so don't don't be afraid to keep going don't be ashamed don't feel hurt each and every one of us everybody that you see in the comment section everybody that you walk past in the street unless they a dang on newborn baby baby everybody's been through something everybody's been challenged everybody had to taste failure in order to succeed especially the people that you see succeeding you might have seen them fail first and do their very worst but they believed in themselves they kept showing up for themselves and boom it happened and some of y'all know that you probably even seen it happen for people that you know don't deserve it but they did the work though and the universal laws still work the same but karma works too so they might be on that having fun train or getting everything they want for a second but trust and believe karma ain't stopping for nobody so they gonna have their time but the fact that they did the work you see them persevering persevering or doing things and things are happening for them right and some of them will work hard to exhaustion to do it okay so that's what it is all right but spirit wants you to know and focus on your purpose so accept the things that you cannot change Somebody is admitting that they're learning that. Trust. I accept my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So trust your inner voice. Trust your discernment. That's a gift from God. Your intuition is a gift from God. So trust in yourself. Then we got abundance. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Boom. Okay. Believe to receive. All right. Somebody's letting their feelings get all in the way. This card is blood red. All right, you could say the blood covers me and I'm always going to be provided for and abundant. Yes, but somebody might be letting their feelings get in the way of manifesting their desires and what they truly deserve and want. Okay, so abundance is here for you. You have to be in that position to receive it. All right, so make sure you ground yourself. Relationships, okay? Certain people that you keep in your company could be blocking you, all right? I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. This is beautiful energy to be in, okay? Spirit wants you to continue to evaluate the people that you have in your life, who you take your time with, and who you decide to pour into, all right? Make sure you're taking account of that and taking heed to this message when it comes to the people that surround you. Because a lot of times, if they're full of toxicity, they're full of negative energy, or they're full of self-limiting doubt and belief then it's going to get right on you. You're, you're sensitive to those type of energies and it will, it will attach itself to you. And you might not see it right away, but you'll, re you'll realize over time how your thinking changed, how your energy changed. And you're wondering why you feel so tired and fatigued and procrastinating and all this stuff. And it's because of the company you keep. So be mindful of that, okay? And if it's your children and they're starting to pick up these habits from outside, nip it in the bud don't be scared look ain't nobody got time to be best friends with their child okay you're gonna be that you are their best friend soon as you think you're not that's when you lose because you are their best friend and so therefore best friends show up for each other best friends guide each other the right direction you don't have to try to be their best friend you are their best you're better than a best friend you're their parent so if they don't like you today they'll love you tomorrow let it be what it's going to be, but know that you did your job and you set things right and you monitored the company that they keep and things like that and what they're bringing into your household. Because baby, when I tell you I run a tight ship, oh, empress don't play, all right? And my kids don't hate me for it. They love me for it. They appreciate me. They take care of me and they protect me, all right? So it, it can work. It's all about how you go about doing it. This ain't no power trip type thing. You got to operate and do all things in love and decency and order. And it will work. It will. All right. Somebody definitely needed that. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And what we just say about that. All right. That's all life is about. And it's not. Look. And, and it's all about you mastering how to temper yourself to go through the next challenge. The next challenge. Because they're not going to stop. All right. Each level has its own challenges. And notice I put an S on that. So don't get comfortable in one place. You still got learning to do. You still got growing to do. All right. Let's go. You the person for the job, baby. You, you're resilient. You got so many gifts. You got this. You got this. God never going to give you more than you can bear. You got it. And not only that, you can help other people. Um, You can help other people deal with the same things that you dealt with you're a teacher a guide all right you're gifted this is what you do 
All right, so let's move on, get the tarot, and get y'all out of here. Y'all probably like, all right, Empress Me, this was so good. Now, let's see the tarot. Okay, we can get to the tarot. Let's see. Let me use some different cards because we used these earlier. Let's switch it up a little bit. Y'all want to switch it up a little bit? Let's switch it up a little bit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, show me clear messages for my Virgo lovies, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's clarify these messages for the Virgo. Uh-huh. I see somebody sad, stressed out a little bit over some type of relationship, a lover situation. Look at that. Some um some earth sign wanna keep offering you something and they stressed out because you don't want it. I see all of that. Two of Wands. <laughs> Y'all making decisions. Y'all making moves with the two of wands. You already contemplating this thing. Some of y'all are already thinking about the things that you, you're, you're like right there. Ready to make a decision. Just needing a little push. A little bit of love. A little bit of confirmation. And boom. Here you go. Here you go. I'm here. Let's see. Show me trust. What is it that Virgo needs to know? And what they have to work on, Spirit? Nine of Pentacles, trust that the, design, the divine will always provide for you. Trust that you're okay being by yourself. And look, it's somebody over here. Be careful, all right? Because whoever this is over here, their tree is empty and dead. And this person is sad because they can't live off yours. I feel like somebody over here is missing you, thinking about the past. You left this behind and as soon as you did, look what you grew. Look what you have. You say, I don't need your raggedy tree or your branches because God got me. God is my provider. I'm the magician, baby. I manifest my own. Look, I'll grow mine right off the dirt. Somebody said, I got it right off the mud. <laughs> okay. Got it right off the mud. And boom. And while they still try, they try to do you wrong and they still waiting with their naked tree. Tree all skin and bones and raggedy. Look at that tree. Child, hmm. you got the fruit. You're abundant. Trust that you're going to have an abundant life. And if you operate in order, like divine is trying to tell you and God is leading you to do, you will be just fine. You'll be provided for. Your health is going to be good. You're going to look like you feel inside. Okay. Your looks can change. Everything can change. Child, don't you know all it takes is your mind to work in a different way. You can manifest anything you want. All right. So know that you're going to be fine. Trust in the divine. It says, I trust, I accept what my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yes, and it guided you away from this person and they're bearing fruit. They don't have no fruit. Somebody can't manifest. They couldn't manifest without your energy. And now that you took your energy away, look, they don't have nothing. You took your, you took your power, your fruit, and your energy. You said, baby, <laughs> one thing about it, you don't got to appreciate me because I'm going to be around and try to find out why. Somebody said, nope, I'm gone. Abundant. Show me abundance for Virgo. Mm-hmm. Death. A transformation. So it's, it needs to be a death to the thinking that you don't deserve. I feel like the thinking that you don't deserve abundance, that you can't have it. All right. It needs to be a death to that, a, a ending, a transformation. And I feel like this transformation has everything to do with your mind in order to bring in what you want. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Somebody's not believing that. Something needs to change here with the death card. Shedding old skin, being reborn, thinking things dif thinking differently about things. Look at this, what I tell you. Because it's here for you. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, being passionate about it, changing the way you think about it, having a new idea, all right? Starting fresh. You see this and it's going to work. So this is telling you to act on everything that you're feeling. You're not wrong about it. Your intuition is right. Okay. Show me relationships. Yeah. Relationships. So somebody is not talking to nobody. This, this went right in the reverse. You're not talking to anybody. You're, it's like you had to cut everybody off with the ace of shields and, re, and the ace of swords in reverse. You're using it to sever ties. Somebody is cleaning out their social closet. You like, hey, baby, you got the go. You got the go. You know, I don't need this number no more or this one. Somebody phone log all the way down to only friends and family. And then the friends, I mean, the, the little four people that you know you can rely on. 
<laughs> is that you? Because somebody doing the work. Okay, somebody's doing the work. Yeah, you said I'm cutting off every toxic mofo that's in my call log. Every toxic person. I'm not dealing with the enemy. I'm not dealing with the devil draining me. None of that. Somebody is ending that. Ending it, okay? Yeah. Making a choice based off sincere emotions. And, and, and this is a choice you made with your heart. Protecting your energy. Eight, um, queen of um, queen of cups. That's what the queen of cups does. She making a choice off sincere emotions, doing what she has to do. Show me failure. A mistake is only the opportunity to learn. Three of pentacles, and you're learning. All right, and this is about friendship, friends, um, meeting with friends, collaborations, working together. You're not failing. You're learning. And Spirit wants you to know this. There will be some good news surrounding whatever this is that you're working with. And for somebody, you could be wondering if a business venture is the best thing for you to do or working with somebody is some type of collaboration here that's going to be beneficial for you. All right. Somebody is a team player here and this is going to get you everywhere. Show me one more, please, on the three of um, cups. Five of Cups. Somebody's mourning the fact that they had to let go of some friends. Or somebody's feeling like a failure because you walked away from them. Yeah. Two of Shields. Somebody wants to work something out with you. So some of these people that you released definitely want to work something out. And I feel like it's somebody who did you dirty too. Somebody who spoke bad on your name, did you dirty, and now this person is down in the dumps. They don't have nothing. And that raggedy, empty tree was theirs, okay? Somebody spoke ill on your name. And I feel like somebody did you wrong. And for that, they get nothing. And now they're, they want to work it out. They want to work it out. Because the truth be told, this person is struggling while you're not. You're not. They are. And you're not. Okay? They are. And you're not. And I feel like they learned a valuable lesson. They learned the lesson. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. <laughs> the chariot, full emotion, okay? This is you balancing your masculine and feminine energy. Just the right emotion to care about what you're doing and pay attention. And just the right um action to not go overboard, but steady pace. Steady pace. And you're moving forward, all right? This is the chariot energy, all right, this could also be cancer. We got two two cancer cards on the board. Somebody definitely could be dealing with a cancer. All right, we got the Knight of Wands. All right, taking action. Some of you guys are moving away from this person. Yeah, somebody's moving straight into their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, baby. I can lie to you not. All right, somebody is going right after getting their dream fulfilled. Uh-huh, but you always got a hater. You always got a sneaky snake that's stealing, trying to take from you, trying to spy on you, trying to be you, do you, or whatever the case may be. King of Pentacles here is nothing they can do to stop it. And you resting peacefully. You and your person. Look, this King of Pentacles getting their feet rubbed. Okay, talk about luxury and comfort. Okay, and this is how you move. That's just how we roll. Yeah. Okay. How we roll. <laughs> you feel me? Yes. So this person, look, trying to get they're not getting away with a damn thing. They it's so sad how people stoop to the lowest level. But you are definitely sitting pretty. Somebody tried to get away with something for sure. And somebody is holding on to you for dear life. This person knew they was no they sneaky. Right? This person know they tried to play with you. Somebody did. They whatever they did, it caught up with them. And they don't have half of what you have. This person is struggling like I don't know what. And this is why. This is why you decided to separate yourself from somebody here and move on your own. And the minute you did that, baby, your whole life changed. So you don't need them. Okay. Spirit is proving that to you. An uh, end of a tough cycle. So you closed the door on the right person. And now it's a new beginning, a brand new beginning. Two of wands. You said, I made the choice to choose me. I chose me. Look at this. And I'm happy. And that's what you deserve. All right. So this is your reading, my love. Yes. Continue to move forward. Believe in yourself. Time to put the burdens down. Yes. You made a decision to put the burdens down. Wheel of fortune. And then as soon as you did, everything turned in your favor. And if you haven't done it yet, baby, get to it. All right? Because the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is here in the Nine of Cups. And that sounds like a beautiful turnaround to me. All right? Thank you guys for being here with me. I'm going to try to re-listen to my video and find an amazing title for you guys so you can come and watch this video. Don't